By now, everyone should know that the mic is always on. Hey, look, people can say the same thing about me, but I don't go around screwing the fire. Baby. These are the absolute best hot mic moments. You're not gonna f with me and expect me to roll up the mother. At number five, we have David Foster from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. At an event surrounding Yolanda's advocacy for Lyme disease, David doesn't seem too happy about Yolanda's recent recovery, but we learn his true feelings when his friend asks how he's doing. How are you feeling? Really, really. A little, yeah. So I want your life to go back to the way it was when we first got together. How's that gonna happen? We find out soon after this that they are in fact getting a divorce, so the hot mic is really the only thing that picks up the truth. This wasn't part of the nuptials. You be the patient. I'll be the doctor, okay? At number four, we have Barbara from The Real Housewives of New York. She was kind of brought on to be Luann's friend, and she immediately fell into the first season housewife trap of not realizing she is being recorded. I don't think she can really ever hold her show by herself. I mean, she, she can't really sing. Okay, so you should definitely add this to the list of things you do not discuss in the audience of your friend's cabaret show while wearing a mic. At number three, we have Mark Daly from The Real Housewives of Atlanta. So everything surrounding this charity event was not going right for Kenya and Mark. They fought about what they were gonna wear, where they were gonna sit, who was invited. And you can tell Mark's annoyance is just growing and growing. And it got so bad that he didn't care who was wearing a mic. He just wanted to let everyone know how he was feeling. Tell them that's it, they, they can't film forever. Tell them they gotta wrap it. Got it, got it. Don't tell me I got it. I'm giving you five minutes and then I'm gonna take care of it. If I come back down, it's not it's gonna be ugly. And he has perhaps the two most telling quotes in reality TV history, which are specifically, What are you enjoying the ride? No, I hate it. Me. No, I hate it. Uh -oh. Everybody knows that. And, So never gonna see me again after this event. Which was completely true. The next day they announced they were getting separated and he never appeared on the show again. At number two, we have this insane hot mic moment from Leanne Locken on Real Housewives of Dallas. Brandy is taking Leanne to get her boobs done, and there's been a lot of gossip in the circle about whether or not her doctor is an actual plastic surgeon, like Carrie's husband, or just a vagina doctor. I was still intrigued by your doctor being a vagina doctor. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Hey. So Leanne naturally doesn't like this gossip very much. So after her prayer, she absolutely loses it. She's not coming for me one day, and it isn't gonna be pretty. Yeah. I grew up with a silver spoon in my mouth. This hot mic left us with so many questions. Is this something she learned at the carnival? Or maybe a detailed guide of carnival language will help us understand what exactly is happening here. I don't get it, Leanne. I just don't get it. No matter how quietly you think you're whispering, if you are wearing a mic, the mic is gonna pick it up. The number one hot mic moment is Giselle's dad on Real Housewives of Potomac. This is an epic hot mic and proves that no one can drag you as hard as your parents. Pastor Jamal and Giselle have a long history. They've been married for several years, divorced, they have three daughters. It seems like this is around the time when they're reconciling, which included gifting his daughters a restaurant, which I totally don't understand. It seems at first that Giselle's dad gives them his blessing, that he just wants them to be happy. They can get back together. I talked to my dad yesterday. He said he wants us to be happy. Then he goes to the bathroom and will unload his real thoughts on anyone who will listen to him, including the sound man. This is not a good move for her. You know, this guy's got six, seven baby mamas, you know. As a father, you think twice about that kind of stuff. Oh my gosh, the part six, seven baby mamas, when your dad says it, you have to believe there is some truth to the rumors. Also, who is gonna check this man? No one. As an honorable mention, our friend Barbara had another great hot mic moment before she was even officially on the show. Is she excited, honestly? She has something to do with her. She would rather 